So these are the pizza tots. We have began to eat and dine. Tell me, Spirit, what do you think? Yummy. <laughs> do what? Mm. Good. I'm getting two double thumbs up here. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Me personally, I like them too. They're a little difficult to eat. And we did discover one should spray the pan first. If you want to add a little extra seasoning, I see now why in the original video they used Italian seasoning, extra seasoning. But aside from that, they're very good for a quick kid. Picky eaters will love this. It's kind of messy. It's fun. Yeah. It's nice. I mean, we're literally just sitting here eating it with forks. <laughs> just picking it apart and eating it. So, all in all, <clears throat> on the power scale of how good this is, out of zero to, we're going to set the limiter for this one at about 100. Where would you rate it, Spirit? Hmm. Constantly asking me when I got a full mouth. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to rate this, in terms of ease, 9 out of 10. It's relatively easy to make. And on the power scale? Mm. I'm feeling not quite 100, but... I'm feeling about 65 to 70. Yeah. It's not the most... 75. I'm going to say 75 on the power scale. Yeah. It's nothing super fancy or crazy, but it is quite delicious for a quickie budget meal. And if you've got a kid who's picky, they're going to love this. So, and it doesn't take but like a couple of minutes to make, like less than 15 minutes to make the whole dish. And you can do this in your oven as well if you do not have an air fryer. Yes, put it in a pan. We just prefer the air fryer. <laughs> that and we don't have an oven. Right now, we'd have to go borrow one from our neighbor. <laughs> mm. But, all in all, I agree. This is a 75 out of 100. Um, You know, it's cheesy, it's good, and it's, like I said, any kid's going to love this. And it doesn't take long to make, so if nothing else, even if you can't use it as a meal, it's a good after school snack. The only cons that maybe is it may be a little time consuming depending on how much time you actually have and it can be a little crumbly. One recommendation is depending on your preference we personally like our tater tots a little bit more crispy but it it kind of depends on you know your eater whether the kids prefers crispy tots or mushy. My advice, if they're gonna, if they're one of those that likes like mushy tater tots, go a little heavier on your cheese and your sauce, and maybe cook for a little bit longer. Let the tater tots soak in. Yeah. That'd be my guess. But if you like them a little bit more crispy, crisp up your tater tots nice and well beforehand before you add your sauce and yep. your cheese, and cook it for a shorter amount of time just until the cheese is melted. And overall, how long did this take us to make? Uh, eight minutes to cook the tots, and then four minutes to actually bake the things in the air fryer. And then about another two, three minutes, or five minutes to uh, add the rest of the ingredients. So, about 10, 15 minutes. Maybe 20. And as I said, if you do what we did, and you ha already have, like, the pizza ingredients in the house, like the sauce, pepperonis, and cheese, just go out and buy you a two-pound bag of tater tots. Because that'll make you two of these. It takes only about a pound. A little under, maybe. So all in all, it's simple to make. It's not that difficult. And your kids are going to love it. Like, you're going to be the favorite parents in the neighborhood. Mm. Kids are going to come to your house for after school snacks. Anyway, guys, this is the review of the meal. Lunaric and Spirit, 
signing off.